Look who's here, everybody. <laughs> everybody asks about you all the time, Mom. Oh, uh, thank you so much. Isn't Hello, nice? everybody. So we both love jewelry, and we have quite an interesting haul here. Let us know what you think. Let us know what your favorites are. We'll be right back. So the first thing that I meant to show is this Christmas present you got me, Mom. Okay. I'm glad you... <laughs> Where did you get here. these? Amazon or just some random website? Oh, no. Um, I can't remember where I got them. I okay. order them online, though. <laughs> Look at these. Look at these funky pickle earrings. Those are hilarious. They're just plastic, but they're super fun. And you got... Did you get this from the same website or a different one? Different one. It says forever on it. That's weird. Like forever. <laughs> forever cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. A pickle. Or a... This is true. <laughs> That's really cute. Anyway, your sister gave you this, right? So do you know, do you have any history? No, what is it? I know you don't know what it is yet. Oh, yes. She had that for many, many years. And she did give that to me. My gosh, I forgot about I that. I think. Oh, I was going to say that's a cherry pit, but it isn't. That's a little tiny shell. Yeah. Look at the bride. Yeah, isn't it lovely? Did she have this when she, you don't know where she got it? I don't know where she got it. Huh. She, didn't, she doesn't usually collect dolls, but she gave me oh, that. Oh, that's and adorable. I treasure it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look at the shoulders. <clears throat> Very nice. So funny. Oh, yeah. I love that bride. Anyway, adorbs. I haven't seen that in a long time. So fun. All right. I like this one too. So we did not get these things. You know, we find things at yard sales and thrift stores. We actually uh, paid up for all this stuff a little bit, but I think we got a pretty good price. Um, you know what I forgot? My loop. Let me go get it. This one is unmarked. I thought that was a mark right there, but it isn't. This looks gold filled. I love this one. I love the the shade of pink. It's kind of not really coming across on the camera, but it's lovely. Yeah. I like the shape of it. I do it's too. really cool. Some of you may remember mm -hmm. when I, I did a video where I took you guys with me to like an antiques place where I was looking at jewelry. I did go back there because upon rewatching, you know, looking at the video, I really, really wanted this necklace. And isn't this beautiful? It's in great condition, right, Mom? Oh, it is lovely. Yeah. So we were like trying to pick through all the stuff. Yeah. Um, it's likely not silver, but look at the condition of those stones. Isn't this pretty? Just a spring ring. Oh, does that say sterling? Oh, I guess it does. Mm -hmm. Well, that's ac actually a, a huge uh, bonus, and that's a great thing. It is lovely. I love this color blue. Very dainty. Thing. So pretty. Yes, definitely. Yes. Love it. All right. Now it's going the wrong direction, but there it goes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yes. And can I just pause and say hello to Cousin Susan? Hi, Cousin Susan. <laughs> I like them old like this. I like that. So I love this too. I love the sort of frame on it. Yes. And it's mother of pearl with a little, you know, prong set. Yeah. That's stone. Very yeah, very unusual. So. Yeah, I know. We tried to pick like the most beautiful yeah. and interesting mm -hmm. and different things, you know, as always. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This one I love, too. I know. I know. Isn't that beautiful? How old do you think? This one, it's, I would say, <clears throat> this is probably the 1910s or the 1920s, I would say. Beautiful. Yeah, I love it. You could just see somebody wearing it, you know. The little pink At the neck. The neck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It might be older because mm -hmm. maybe this whole hardware back here has been replaced. It looks like something was soldered on. Hmm. It's lovely. So maybe it is older. It may be like late Victorian or something. It's lovely though. I love a mold like this. So do you, right? Yes, I do. Yes. This one is another one of my favorites. I just think that is the prettiest thing. Look at that purple stone. That might be a real amethyst. You know, amethyst is not mm -hmm. a real mm -hmm. high-end thing. They might put that on this, which is probably um yeah, maybe it's like a gold wash or something. I love the the flowy lines of this one. Yeah, we got different. this weirdling. <laughs> uh, 
because it wasn't it wasn't a lot of money and I just thought it was insane. I don't understand that it's like a shoe and a rose and a mask and, and a fan. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what this no. is, but it was intriguing and I just grabbed it. Maybe I shouldn't have, I don't know. It definitely is is an oddball. Well, yeah, kind of cool though. So right. this was funny because some of the things were, you know, overpriced as we saw last time, and then some of the things were not priced at all. And then there's a woman who is sort of randomly uh, pricing stuff because a lady whose booth it was wasn't there. It's like a whole thing. And then when she got to this one, she way undercharged us because she doesn't realize how collectible something like this is. This is definitely mid-century. It's a knee hugger, a knee hugger devil. What? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yes. Oh, man. Well, I love this. And what's sort of funny and, and interesting and and shocking, really, when you collect jewelry is I bet you this thing from the 50s or 60s is worth a lot more than this antique pin. So it's kind of it's kind of interesting. Um, collectible, collectible. Yeah, it's a collectible and it's just mm -hmm. it's super, super cute. Mm -hmm. Look at <laughs> look at his little his like little black hair sort of peeking over his his, mm -hmm. his hat thing. Anyway, that's adorable. I yeah, like I love that one. So here is our big purchase. We did pay up for this big time, but I, I think it's probably worth a lot more than what we paid. Mm -hmm. You notice there's no missing stones, no missing pearls. There is a little bit of verdigris trouble here in there, which I probably won't clean. I'll probably leave that to its new owner, but let's take a look. I think this might be a somewhat early one too. It's a beautiful, a beautiful Haskell. And look at the construction. This is all hand done. There's usually, yeah, you can't really see it, but it's like this top has like holes in it sort of you know and then they they wire the stones down through it's an it's an interesting construction on this one and the pearls are are in beautiful condition it's just that that verdigris on those spacer beads uh, or are those knots uh let me look i'm just curious those are our beads actually so somebody will have to have to do that. But other than that, it's actually an outstanding, outstanding condition. Wow. This is really a beauty. Triple strand. Beautiful. I can always notice Haskell like immediately. And um, it was, it was priced accordingly, right, mom? But not, not terrible. Oh, well. I think there's some room. Oh, this one. <laughs> now we got this one, okay. uh, you know, same thing. It wasn't, it wasn't a lot of money, and I don't have one like this in my collection. Santa in the chimney. This is probably from the 60s. Not a high-quality thing, obviously. You notice the there's not a lot of detailing and stuff. But I, I think he's a jolly old guy. I think so, too. I like him. Uh, let me just show this, this purple one, because this right. one is beautiful. That is very beautiful. What a beautiful light purple stone, yes. and I love the this sort of thing winding or like yeah what would you call that yeah it kind of looks nice. like um you know like like i don't know something <laughs> like that thing you use on your sink to wash your hair that like thing i don't know what that's called but isn't this pretty yes and it is czechoslovakian as we see right there mm. now who knows if the if this originally came with it you know you can never really know if somebody changed it out but the chain is actually beautiful too, but this, yes. I think this is really, really pretty. Maybe we can try to put some of these uh, necklaces on the neck when we're at the end. I okay. think we might only have two necklaces, right? Do we have any other necklaces or no? Uh, that's no, a bracelet. No, yeah, that one's no, a bracelet. No, okay, well, let's just continue on. Well, here's something entirely different. <laughs> I love these flower powery things. These remind me of a candy called Spree that I remember from childhood. But look at the condition on this. Doesn't this remind you of Florida somehow? Yes. Doesn't it? Yeah, sure. It's got those sort of colors. Okay. It's tough to find these in such great condition. So a lot of times this paint is chipping off and stuff. And I really like the triple center on this one. And I like the color too. 
It's just cool. I don't know. It wasn't a lot of money, this one. This is strange. Yeah, this one. Um, so people collect cats like crazy, and I figured I would be able to sell this. That's the reason we yes. picked this one out. It, it's marked 925. It's different, I think. <laughs> I mm. like the shape of it. It's weird. It's like, you know, skinny and thin and I don't know. I think it's unusual. I've never seen anything like it. It has some pretty nice weight on it. I like the tails. Look, I just love, I love the design of this. I think it's very, very fun. This is the Garuvia. So this is Avon and it, it does. Is. Yeah. And the door opens. I'll open it for you. So in here was really, uh, was perfume in the oh, day. Remember that solid face. perfume? Yes, remember, I and do. then you take some yes, on, put it on your do. wrist. Oh, for God's sake. Um, but yes. it's so 70s, that's what I loved about it. And I love the green eyes. I think it's really, I think really he's, nice. He's awesome. Yes. No, he's really awesome, and he's in excellent condition, too. Look at that gold tone, yeah, perfect, right? You know, Avon made some lovely things. I agree with you, I agree with you. Like some stuff, no, I don't like, you know, but a lot of it I actually do. It's very, yeah, it's very, very nice. I've never seen this piece before, but I could certainly tell it was a JJ. This is an awesome Art Nouveau brooch. Where is it? I know it says JJ somewhere. Uh, there it is, right underneath the pins. Yeah, so that stands for Jeanette Jewelry. Hmm. And I just think she's a lovely, she's a lovely woman. Look at her hair and the flower. And she actually has beautiful features. Look at her cheekbone yes, and everything. Yes. This one is probably not an older Weiss. Really? Yeah, we may have overpaid for this one, actually. Well, and when I look Weiss back is on quality, it, isn't it, it totally, no, it, it absolutely yes. is quality. And I, I couldn't find one quite like it. It's, uh -huh. it almost looks like a peacock in a weird way, you know? Abstract, um, sure. Yeah, like an abstract peacock, yeah. I love the colors. I love um, green and blue together. It's and unusual. I like this, like, thing. Yeah, this is, you're right. Abstract is really the word for it. Yeah, yeah. In nice condition. And then there's the Weiss cartouche. That's nice. See how it picks up the color in there? Yes. This one, I love this one. So yeah. this is, this was, a like, not very much money. But this is a Monet. And it's like the wings move a little bit. See that? Did oh, you see that they that. move? Watch. Look. No, I didn't know this. See, they oh, yeah, they okay. move a bit, which yeah, I think is kind of cool. Shows your background material. If you would yes, it that's course. right. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, you're right. That's what it picks up, you know. Yes, and and it's already like nicely cut. I mean, I absolutely. like the body is textured. Yes. Good as little pincers. Yikes! <laughs> but the um, it's but different. these are polished. Yeah, the 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 wings are polished. I think it's, I don't know. I love bug jewelry. You do too, right, yes, mom? Yes, I do. Now, this is Blue Goldstone, which I had never even heard of, but some of my viewers told me that, which is super cool, because we are always learning from each other, because I certainly, well, I don't know all the things. I'm shocked at that. I, I don't know all the things. <laughs> all right. Now, I know some of the things, okay. but I love this. Now, this is Mark 925, but sometimes, maybe just the catches, you know, I, so I'll, I'll give this a test. But I love the shapes. Unusual. Yeah, this is, it's very cool. This, I just love the geometric look to it. And I love Goldstone. This is really not coming across on the camera. It's much bluer and much sparklier. Well, maybe not bluer, but, but more. Maybe. Just more better, you know? The shapes. Yeah, it's the shapes. That's right. Yeah. Very cool. It's sort of like those those mid mid century shapes. I mean, I'm sure it's not that old, but yeah. I love it. And I love this toggle too. This is a nice handy handy thing and you know if you have a tiny tiny wrist you could do this. Mhm. Mm mm, I love that. Let's take a look at the necklaces on the neck. Oh, isn't that pretty? I don't feel like the camera is really capturing this. It's beautiful. Look how the stone, you see how the stone's not even scratched or anything, Mom? Somebody yes. took very nice yes, care of it. It's lovely. You know? It is. Yes, it is. So now let's try the blue one. That's really the one I love. I mean, I love them both, but you know what I mean. Look at this one. This one's fit for a queen, it's isn't lovely. it? It's yeah. lovely. Yes, it is. It's so pretty. I love it. And I didn't even know it was sterling when I, you know, I, I saw it last time. 
Um, it's got a little tangle right there that I have to get out. Oops. Anyway. It's awful pretty. It's gorgeous. Yeah. So this I'm absolutely uh, crazy about. And um, this is Goldstone Goldstone. It, it is just glass and there's there's no gold in it. But it's sparkly. It's very, very sparkly. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. It looks like little... Yeah, so they add something to the glass, I think. Um sure. I, I can't remember what it is. Like it's not gold. Um it's some sort of metal, probably, <clears> like <throat> copper flakes or I don't uh -huh. know, something. Yeah, yeah. Fairy dust. <laughs> but it's <laughs> I, I love this. This looks so seventies to my to my eyes. I I love the frame on this one too. That one is actually way, way cool. And now we're going to have an oldie, right? So this is the last yeah, one. And it's written on in the back, but I can't read it. Is it? Yeah. And that I did not uh, know. Oh, I'll be. Hmm. Yeah, that say? probably says Czechoslovakia. Let me look. This does say Czechoslovakia. They were known for their glass making. And believe it or not, these middle stones are not glass. They are plastic. That is that Moon Glow thermoset. But the the pin itself, well, not the pin itself, but the item itself, you know, it looks older than it does. Than these sort of like it looks like this is from nineteen hundred or something, but mm -hmm. clearly not, not with those stones. I just love. Look at the rings very, of flowers. Very old -fashioned it is old fashioned yes, looking, but I I love lovely. the colors actually. It kind of yeah. has more modern colors. Isn't that pretty? Yes. Well, we're going to be selling most of these things at some point, so stay tuned. We're going to be doing some sales videos. And by the way, um, allergies are hitting me a little bit, so I know my voice might sound a little bit funny today, but I feel great. Anyway, that's about it. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Mom. Thanks, everybody, for asking about my Thank mom. You.